Welcome back to Teachable Moments with April Podcast. I am your host, April. Inspire, host, create, explore endless new possibilities, next level broadcasting. If you haven't heard about Anchor by Spotify, it's the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Let me explain. Anchor has tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and so many more. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. And best of all, Anchor is totally free. Download the Anchor app or go to Anchor FM to get started. Today's content is from MotherEarthLiving.com, Healthy Life, Natural Beauty, Health and Wellness, Seven Herbs of the Bible by James A. Duke. As we move into the third Christian millennium, we may be ready to rekindle a medical as well as spiritual explanation of the herbs and plants that have been with us for as many as six millennia. The Bible mentions 128 plants that were part of everyday life in ancient Israel and its Mediterranean neighbors. These plants include almonds, apples, black mustard, cucumber, grapes, mandrake, nettle, poppy, and wormwood. The new millennium is an opportunity for reflection and anticipation. What have we done to the earth, to its flora and fauna? How accurately have we measured progress in diet, medicine, and health care? The migratory patterns of herbs and plants follow those of the people who relied on them. The Levant, which stretches in a crescent around the eastern Mediterranean Sea um, from Turkey, and the Sinai Peninsula includes modern Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, and Israel. This marks the most likely checkpoint though, which, through which population groups passed as they migrated. As they moved, people carried cuttings, seeds, and saplings of plants and herbs necessary for their well-being or in accordance with God's directives. Thus, use of the medicinal plants of the area combines the healing wisdom of early Arabs, Hebrews, and Muslims. Here are a handful of these plants and a look at their roles in personal beauty, hygiene, ritual, ceremony, and the treatment of disease, many of which still apply today. For this episode, we're going to look at the first two. Aloe, John 19, 39, and 40, used for burns, constipation, cancer, and skin irritations. The aloes of the biblical time are very different from the aloe vera you keep on your kitchen counter. One variety of aloe introduced an aromatic juice used in embalming in ancient Egypt. Aloe juice was included in incense, perfume, lotion, and scented powder. From biblical times to the present, aloes have been a giant among herbs and herbal medicine. People commonly keep an aloe vera plant in their home for the instant and effective treatment of burns. Fresh aloe vera juice taken internally purges the stomach and lower intestines and relieves fevers. Externally, aloe juice in gels with or without lanolin treats abrasions, burns, and skin irritations. When applied to open sores, aloe vera extract aids in healing, exhibiting anesthetic and antibacterial action and increasing blood or lymph flow in the small vessels in the area. And the last one we're going to look for in this episode is flax. Leviticus 6.10 used with arthritis, bronchitis, cancer, dermatitis, heart disease, inflammation, and rheumatism. Linen is one of the world's 
oldest textiles. The earliest fragment of identified cloth considered to be of linen is from Eastern Turkey, carbon dated to 9,000 years ago. Ancient Egyptian murals uh, depict the growth of flax, the spinning of flax thread, and the weaving of that thread into, into linen. Mummified remains of the pharaohs are bound in fine and delicate linen, woven with an expertise that is still difficult to replicate to this day. 3,000 to 4,000 years later, linen also has, was used to make mummy cases, and flaxseed oil was used in the embalming process. Flaxseed produces linseed oil, which is edible when cold pressed. Medicinally, the seeds were prescribed as an emollient and or a laxative. Flaxseed was also used as a remedy for burns. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thanks for listening to Teachable Moments with April. If you did enjoy this episode, I invite you to come right back to check out my podcast and my other episodes. Don't forget to listen, add us to your favorites, and support by clicking on the link in the description. As always, be blessed and be well. Until